Hello everyone and welcome to the next installment of the Kingdom Hearts 1 Level 1 Boss Guide series. Today we're going to be tackling Clayton slash the Stealth Sneak in Deep Jungle. This fight can be pretty challenging, luckily I was able to beat him on my first attempt. However, there are two enemies you're going to be fighting, so crowd control can be a little bit difficult, and the arena can be a little challenging, especially when you're trying to chase Clayton. As long as you have a lot of items equipped to both Sora, Donald, and Tarzan, you should be pretty good to go. Alright, so jumping right into the menu, we can go ahead and look at our items. For Sora, we have a Mega Potion, a Potion, and a Potion. Donald's going to have a Mega Potion and a Potion. And then when we go over to Tarzan, he's going to have a Mega Potion, a Potion, and then another Mega Potion. Moving on over to Equipment, Sora has the Kingdom Key, Proterra Chain, and the White Fang. Proterra Chain we got from the Monkey Heartless in Deep Jungle. Donald's going to have the Mage's Staff, Eifert's Horn, and the Protect Chain, and Tarzan's going to have the Spear and the Brave Warrior. Moving on over to Abilities, Sora has Experience Zero and Dodge Roll, and Tarzan has the Raging Boar, Healing Curve, Second Wind, Second Chance, Berserk, and then two Critical Pluses. Time to hop right into the boss fight. Alright, so at the start of this boss fight, we're going to want to make sure we dodge roll away so we don't get shot from Clayton. And then from here, I'm trying to get a good camera angle on him, but we're just going to want to jump around to avoid his attacks as well as the Monkey Heartless's attacks. And then we're going to want to get in a few hits. Uh, mainly aerial combos, I see, to have worked the best defensively. Uh, luckily, Donald's using a lot of thunder to control the power wilds, keep them stunned, and actually kill them pretty easily. And then we are able to knock out Clayton. At the start of this area, Area, we're going to want to dodge roll, roll away again to make sure we don't get shot from his shotgun. Fortunately, it got hit there, but from this situation, we're going to make sure we're continuing to jump and continuing to hit. This is why we equip lots of potions for this early phase, as both Tarzan and Donald will be able to heal us without relying on cure or healing wit. So from here, we're just going to keep up with the aerial combos and just focus on the stealth sneak until he knocks off Clayton. From here, he's going to be stunned for a little bit, so we're just going to want to keep on going with our aerial combos. I end up ditching out a lot of fire here, as magic is pretty good in this fight. I use fire just because it's the quickest magic ability, instead of blizzard, which has short range, and then thunder, which uses a lot of my MP. And thunder's a lot better for crowd control versus multiple heartless. So from here, I continue to get hit. I'm gonna go make sure I hide behind that rock to safely heal. Uh, luckily, Tarzan was able to heal me right there. From here, we're gonna wanna go in close to the stealth sneak and make sure we're getting those aerial combos in. Again, when I get hit, I need to back away, get up to full heal so I'm not uh, one shot from then on. Here again, we're just going in with the aerial combos. When he's stunned like that, you might think that he's officially finished, but he's not. You're gonna have to make sure the screen flashes white. That'll let you know when the stealth sneak is actually dead. So again, I'm potioning up. Fortunately, I keep getting hit a lot here, but we do have a lot of items to use. Short while, just takes one fire and he is dead. Screen flashed white, so we know he's good, and he dropped that item, which was the Mega Potion. So now we can go ahead and focus on Clayton. So Clayton's pretty easy when he's by himself, because you don't have to focus on the Stealth Sneak attacking you anymore. Um, unfortunately, this was a pretty bad situation. I couldn't get up there without him hitting me, so I did end up having to use my items there. But we can go ahead... Once we get up there, knock him off, and then from here, the fight's pretty much over. You just want to make sure you keep up the pressure towards him, so he's not able to do anything. As long as you keep up with the aerial combos, or ground combos, whichever one's easier for you, uh, it's really a matter of preference. Uh, you should be able to defeat him pretty easily, he shouldn't even really attack you. He does jump a lot, and he is pretty high, he'll actually go out of your camera focus a lot of the times. In that situation, what you need to do is use fire against him. Because if he gets distance, he'll be able to shoot you or one of your teammates. If you use fire against him, it'll be able to stun him to where you'll be able to get that distance back, get close to him, and continue bashing him. He is pretty low here, keep going in for the fires until I run out. Once that's over, I run in and he's two shots and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.